Today I wanted to go over some of your very first steps for getting started um, and kind of where to focus your attention because I know that in the beginning you're like, you've probably been added to a few groups, you've probably been had your attention pulled in a couple different directions and you're probably like, okay, what do I need to be focusing on exactly? And so the main thing really, um, I'm going to start out with a little back office tour. You're going to hear us talk about the coach online office or the back office. It's all the same thing. Um, and I am actually going to do a quick screen share so that I can take you into the back office and show you what that's all about. And, you know, just a really quick tour, basic stuff. So let me head on in there. So you should be looking at my second business center's back office dashboard. So when you first became a coach, um, you probably saw this screen at some point. If you got a confirmation email or you've logged into your coach online office, you've seen the screen here. Um, and this is just kind of your command center here. Um, you've got a couple of tabs up on top. Um, really, I'll tell you, the only two that I ever use when I come into this dashboard is the coach tab and the shop tab. When I need to order some new products, that's where I go. Um, the three-day refresh is there. I'm already on Shakeology Home Direct, so I don't really ever have to do anything with Shakeology. Um, I can order my, you know, e, &E which is energy and endurance, my pre-workout formula, that's all in here. You can just click the shop tab itself to see everything offered there, and you get your 25% discount when you shop in there. So pretty cool. Um, and like I mentioned, the coach tab, that's pretty much the main place that I come. Uh, as you get further into your coaching business, I'll teach you more about the previous office view, but that's, it's kind of like the old office view. That's how, that's how coaches used to see their online offices. So those are the only options that they had and the only viewing that they had. But now we have the coach online office, which is the new view. And so I'm going to take you in there. <clears throat> So it should open right up to the Coach Online Office, and it's going to welcome me, show me my Coach ID number. This is my second business center, so it's showing I'm just diamond in my second business center. Um, it's going to show me my Success Club qualification. Um, here, you know, we'll talk about Success Club as we get into this a little bit. In my first video in the file from yesterday, you should have seen a getting started right email or a getting started right video and hopefully you watch that because that's going to give you a lot of information about what success club is so if you know what success club is you know that your goal every month is five at least five points um, and that's going to show you your points right here um, and then as soon as you call see it's saying I'm not qualified which I'm in my second business center so it's gonna tell me that all the time but in your coach online office you're gonna want to aim to see at least five points here and then you want to see 90 PV here. That means that you're on Shakeology Home Direct. And that's a big thing. You want to make sure that as a coach that you're on Shakeology Home Direct. And that ties into the Success Club qualification. So you can have all the points in the world, but if you're not on that Shakeology Home Direct, um, you're not going to qualify for Success Club. So make sure that that is what's happening for you. Um, you're going to see lots of information back here, but really there's not too much to worry about back here for you to start out with. I get questions about where can I see my downline, you know, if you just sponsor a brand new coach or where can I see my, my very first customer's order? Well, you can go into your orders area here and see your customer orders and that's going to open a screen where you'll be able to see all of your customer orders. You can scroll all the way down and see the most recent one. Um, to see your personal orders, you can go to that same section and go to personal orders, and you're probably just gonna see a bunch of, okay, so this month, I haven't had my Shakeology shipped out here this month yet. Um, and then as far as your new co your coaches underneath you, you can go to the graphical genealogy, and that's gonna show you all the coaches in your downline. So it's kind of cool. You might also already see coaches popping up depending on what leg you were put on by your upline coach. Um, I get that question a lot, like, do I need to train this person or what do I do with that coach that's on my right leg or whatever? Um, if you didn't personally sponsor that person, you don't have to worry about that person, but that's what is so cool about this business is that there will be coaches underneath you placed there on that strong leg, and that's what a strong leg is. When you have a trickle down from your upline, you're gonna see coaches placed on that leg. Um, and that adds to your team volume. So as you become an emerald and above, you're gonna start earning um, team cycle bonus based on the volume of those coaches, which is really cool. So it really is a, a team sport, as I like to say. 
Um, and that's really the, the basics of the back office, pretty much what you guys need to worry about. If you ever need to change your, your flavor or your ship date for your Shakeology, you can actually customize it right here in this box. So click there and it's gonna take you to a quick little form. Um, and also, I like to log in. I mean, I log into the back office multiple times a day, but as a new coach, I would, I would aim to log in, you know, at least once a day, just so you can check the coach breaking news, because there's tons of cool stuff. Um, just announced Beachbody On Demand coming soon. Definitely read about that, because it's really exciting. You'll see all of the national wake-up call information. Every Monday morning, there's a national wake-up call open to the entire coach network, and it's always really exciting. Um, the Success Club Cruise wait list, you can get on that if you're a new coach. Lots of cool stuff. So the coach breaking news is definitely something you want to pay attention to. So I'm going to stop my share here, and I'm going to kind of just jump right into one of the main things about this coaching business, and you've probably seen a lot, of, you know, if you're my personally sponsored coach or if you're within my downline, you're sponsored by somebody else in the downline, You've, you've probably seen them on social media doing their thing and you're like, what is it that you do? You know, and so you've gotten the whole rundown of exactly what, what we're doing as coaches. Um, and I'm going to back up to kind of when I became a coach um, because I had a day one, two, shocker. I know we all do. Um, but I was a brand new coach at one point too. And when I became a coach, I made that decision to take this seriously because I really wanted this to work for my family. And so what I did was I changed my social media up a little bit. I started to look at my Facebook page a little bit differently. I looked at it as my storefront now. You know, this was something serious. And so I changed my profile picture to start with. Um, it wasn't just my, my three kids anymore, just their little faces. I changed it to a picture of just me. Nice, clear picture of just my face. Um, because when you're sending messages and friend requests to new people, you really want it to be your face that they know they're talking to. They're like, who's this person that's friend requesting me right now? And their profile picture is of their dog. Like, I don't know who that person is. So um, if they don't know your name, they want to see your face, that's for sure. So that would be probably the first place that I would start. Um, I also really like to talk about the 80-20 rule. Um, it's just a really good rule of thumb to follow. You, know, you really want this to be 80% you. And I know that like as soon as you become a coach, some people, I think there's two different types of people. There's the people who want to shout it from the rooftops, let everybody know that they're a Beachbody coach, and here's my link, and join my challenge group, and yeah, here's my results. It's like 100% Beachbody and fitness and health and all of this. You're like an overnight fitness guru. We don't want you to do that. And then there's the other side of the spectrum where you're like, I'm not going to say anything because I'm so terrified, so I'm just going to go along on my merry way and not say a word about this whole beach body thing yet because I don't even know where to start. Don't do that either. I want you to be somewhere in the middle. A good common ground would be to stick with 80% what you were doing. Um, I would say definitely things to clean up from your Facebook would be like Debbie Downer posts. You know, you, we're, we're uplifting, we're motivating, inspiring people in people's lives and we want to make sure that we're cutting out that negative negativity. Um, and making sure that we're bringing that happiness to people. When they come to our, our pages, they know that they're going to get happiness and, and be filled with joy. And if we're posting, you know, negative articles about child abuse or politics, it's like, oh, it makes people feel yucky inside. So um, just something to think about. You know, if you're super into politics, and definitely not telling you not to post that anymore, but just be a little bit more thoughtful and conscious about what you're putting out there because you are in business for yourself and you are representing yourself. So it's really important to, to take that seriously and make sure that you're focusing on what you're showing the world with your Facebook page. Um, another thing to think about is you don't have to make the decision to make your Facebook page completely public right now because there is an option to open it up completely. If you feel comfortable doing that, by all means, go for it. That's going to make all your posts public and all of that. Um, what I would say to start out with, a good way to ease into it, is you can open up your page to public but you can keep some of your posts just for your friends only. So if I were just a complete stranger coming, you know, clicking on your profile, I'm going to see the stuff you want me to see as a, um, a non Facebook friend. I'm going to see maybe your, your, your 21 day fix before and after picture. That would be a great thing to keep public on your page because you want that to jump into people's 
news feeds. So if your friend likes it or comments on it, now that's going to be bumped into their friends' news feeds, and chances are you're going to, you know, get to expand way past just your friends and family with those pictures, which is what you want. Um, but you know, if it's a picture of your kids, I try and keep pictures of my kids just for friends or family. Um, completely understandable for safety purposes. So you can definitely pick and choose. Um, there's a little Dropbox arrow at the top right of every single thing that you post where you can change the privacy settings on those specific posts. Um, and those are really good places to start. I'm going to post a little homework assignment for you guys, but I just wanted to go over some quick basics of where to start and where to focus your attention. Um, I'm really excited for you guys, and let me know if you have any questions. Have a great night.